this major military expansion statewide. It's called Special Ops. It's uh, being put out by the Navy, but it includes Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. And what these are are covert operations outside of military bases that are going to be taking place on all islands. On this island, it'll include the North and South Kohala coastlines. There was a special ops plan for Mauna Kea Park that we got canceled, and I can tell you what exactly that was. They were going to have 50 people from uh, military people from Pu'akaloa march out at night across Saddle Road from Pu'akaloa and go up on the slopes of Mauna Kea and set up camouflage surveillance and then during the day they would have military people in plain clothes mingling with park participants. These military people would be armed and the job of the people in surveillance on the slopes of Mauna Kea was to try and find out who was the enemy among the parks where they were using us as extras, as props for these military operations. And the fact that they were going to have armed people in the park to me was very disturbing. Can you imagine a father pushing his kid on the swing and all of a sudden seeing somebody with a gun? It could be a very da dangerous situation. So finally we got that one cancelled. But there could be others planned for other parks on this island. For on Oahu, for example, you know, 25% of Oahu is military bases already. Now they've drawn a big rectangle around the entire island and the surrounding waters, saying they're going to use the entire island and the waters for special operations. Now I think there should be growing outrage by citizens and our public officials. Where did we give our consent for this? These covert operations, these are the kind of things that are taking place right now in Venezuela by the CIA. They're really assassination squads. That's what the training was for at Mauna Kea Park. Do we really want the Aloha State to be part of an assassination training ground? So I'm concerned on all islands. I know there's concern on Maui and on Molokai, and it's taking place on Kauai, Lanai, all the islands. So uh, I hope there'll be a, a growing outrage. To me, this is the largest military expansion in over 50 years in Hawaii. I called, I mean, this is on, on the big island here, it's taking place on the near shore waters and the shorelines. I called several people, six or seven in DLNR, high ranking people. None of them were even aware of it, uh, of what's taking place. I found that, I find that outrageous that even, I mean, what's going on here that the military can just come into our shorelines and our parks and do this kind of training without any kind of public hearings and input from the communities and our officials. You know, so I think that people need to be aware of this. The media has, you're the first media that actually is going to give it visibility. It's been a blackout on this by the media. And it's very significant military escalation in our community. Very dangerous situation. The director's office of the DLNR, I was very polite. And uh, I was put on hold there trying to talk to some staff person about this. Finally, the secretary just said, I'll relay your concern. When I asked for her name just for my record, she refused to give it to me and hung up on me. Mm. So, I mean, it's really insulting behavior, even from the state employees, uh, to concerns being raised by the citizens.